In terms of what I said, you know, I, I prayed about it and I thought about it and I was very intentional with, with what I said and I stand behind um, what I said. And I really believe if people knew me as a person and, and understood that I was coming from a place of love and not a place of trying to attack or put people down, that I only want the best for people. And uh, that's what I was trying to say there. And I think the people that were in that gymnasium all uh, understood what I was saying. Tonight's red hot video, uh, Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker standing by, if you can imagine such a thing, his comments at a commencement speech back in May where he promoted traditional Catholic values. How dare you? The uh, left has since tried to cancel him, naturally, because, you know, they nailed Jesus to a cross if he came back today. Uh, but it backfired on them, amazingly, perhaps. In fact, Butker just signed a very nice $25.6 million contract extension with the Kansas City Chiefs, which sounds pretty good to me, uh, making him the highest paid kicker in the NFL, which, uh, which isn't all bad. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, and Abe came out and he said, well, I stand by everything I said. Why wouldn't I? And, and you know, the NFL was, it was called, uh, what, polarizing at the time, his uh, speech. Uh, but he just got a good contract. Apparently the Kansas City Chiefs are fine with it, even if the NFL isn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even think that that necessarily means they're fine with it. I think it's just he has a First Amendment right to say what he wants. And he was not in a Kansas City Chiefs uniform. And even if he was, he still has the right to, to express himself. You know, I don't believe in the get that SOB off the field, uh, you know, approach to, you know, free speech. Uh, I'll, I'll also say that I'm, I'm proud of Bucker for one reason. He's not Kyle Rittenhouse, who backs off whatever he says 24 hours later after he said it. I had an issue, of course, with the IVF comments and some other comments that he made. Uh, my issue, my biggest issue, though, is that contract when he's not one of the best kickers in the league. You got guys like Brandon Aubrey and Jake Elliott, who are both pro bowlers, and Justin Tucker, who's an all-time great, or Jason Myers. I hope this is just setting a bar so that these other guys can get paid much more than this uh, mid-level kicker that you have. <laughs> so I think you have to remember the NFL media is what's kind of resuscitating this because they have to provide justification for their employment in the offseason. I completely agree with Jason. The outrage here is that Justin Tucker is not the highest paid kicker he was until uh, this contract was signed. Now, I think the other outrage here, there, were, there was some anger, you know, throughout all of this, obviously, by Taylor Swift's fans. But what I wish they would be angry at instead is the ISIS-linked terrorist who just canceled <laughs> multiple shows of hers across Europe. I think that's a bigger threat to us all than uh, remarks that Harrison Butker made. But yes, Justin Tucker should be the highest paid kicker. Yeah, that's a, and I'm sure you feel very strongly about this topic as well, I could tell. Oh, of course. On the uh, pre-discussion. But look, here's a, a guy who's a Catholic. He gives a, uh, he gives a commencement address at a Catholic university. It shouldn't be controversial in the first place. And, you know, even Jason is saying, uh, you're, you're actually in America, in theory, you're supposed to have a right to say yeah. uh, what you believe without being attacked by the mob. I think we all understand that there is an Overton window, right? If you are calling for actual genocide, that's bad. If you, you know, they use, make you a delegate to the you, DNC, you, actually. <laughs> okay, point taken. But point being, like, like we all recognize, no. we all recognize. <laughs> if you call for, we should discriminate against this class of per like that's bad. But right. expressing something that your children will be a much more important achievement in your life than your professional goals and successes. That is not only not outside of that Overton window. It's also not political. And the idea that. Not every message has to be for everybody. He's allowed to give a, a, an address to a Catholic school. Uh, you know, uh, cancel culture uh, actually appears to be losing steam, I'm happy to be able to report. Uh, country music star Morgan Wallen, uh, he, uh, more, uh, he wore Butker's jersey number walking on stage at his concert over the weekend at, at Chiefs Stadium. And multiple Chiefs players were, were alongside him, including Patrick Mahomes and, and Travis Kelsey. 